right, welcome to the channel, and today we will be talking about the lovely ZMF Caldera in comparison to, sorry for the loud clangy clangy clangy, <laughs> the lovely atriums from ZMF. And so this is my own personal set of atriums, and the Caldera is a loner from ZMF. So that out of the way, let's dive into the comparison of the ZMF Caldera compared to the ZMF atriums. All right, let's dive into the sound. Okay, so let's talk about the sound of these. The ZMF atriums up first, the highs are very crisp and sparkly. The splash is very controlled and detailed. We're not overwhelming in any way, shape, or form, and they're really quite lovely in the upper highs and what have you, and in the upper mids. The Caldera in comparison is similar profile, actually, but there's just more detail and a little bit crispier without being overdone as well, but it's just that detail and imaging is a lot more crisp and a little more easy to pick apart and pick out and it's it's just there rather than the atriums if i want to get as much detail i'd have to maybe kind of like focus in on a little bit just a little bit more so the biggest takeaway in the highs for me between the two is that the caldera is definitely more uh, detailed and a little more crisper when a little more separated in the imaging and then in the details and then moving into the mids the the mids are more forward and rich with the atriums and the vocals as well are very rich and lovely trumpets and strings are also quite nice and not too bright or metallic and they don't and then sometimes trumpets can get a little bit bright and or kind of like they'll overwhelm a little bit sometimes depending on how loud you're listening or what have you and the atriums control that very well it's very nice very lovely sound and then the caldera is actually very similar presentation uh, but the atriums are definitely more rich in the mid-range the caldera also once again is kind of this detail monster man like it's it's got more detail it's got better image separation you can pick apart stuff a little bit better and easier but it's they're very very close i would say the caldera would be the details and it also has a nice richness there to the vocals and in mid range but the trumpets i would say do push a little more in towards that brighter side but are still pretty good and they don't like they they might flirt a little bit with being a little bit too bright in my listening i didn't really have it where they would go over that like where i'd go oh that's uncomfortable or oh, i don't like that uh, they definitely would push up towards that though regarding trumpets or metal instruments and then moving into the lows, the lows are thumpy and engaging and boomy in a good way with the atriums, whereas with the caldera, they're, they're punchy and detailed, but they don't have as much engagement for me uh, as compared to the atriums. Atriums just have a little bit more richness, I guess. I'm going to use richness too much heavily here. But richness in the, the lows with the atriums are just a little bit more engaging. They're a little bit more forward. And the caldera is more, uh, I would say, in that realm of punchy, detailed, and thumpy, but not overdone and it's very tame uh, and tame is actually probably not the right word either it's very um, maintained it's very uh, well-rounded as far as the overall sound signature you can do that in the final thoughts but more or less i'd say these two are the closest i've heard um, outside of the VOVC uh, sound signatures as being the closest to one another. The atriums are definitely very similar to the caldera. The caldera is just exponentially more detailed and has better imaging. The stage, surprisingly, I would say it's another one that's kind of unique with these two. It feels like it's bigger than it really is, I have a feeling, uh, in both of them. But I would say that the edge goes to the atrium for the stage just by a bit, even though like I, I feel like they don't, or I feel like they're not properly as wide as what I think they are. <laughs> it's this weird trick that they do. They almost present wider than they really are. But anyways, I think the Atrium and the Caldera are really good. If you don't want to, if you're not into planars, then the, the Atrium is a great alternative. And if you really like planars and you really love detail and imaging, then the Caldera is for you. That's, yeah, if, if you can get both, they are actually pretty good companions just for that different little, little separation there with the details and the imaging with the Caldera and then a little bit more richness and more mid forward with the Atriums. So yeah, on to final thoughts. All right. <laughs> All right. So final thoughts. The atriums the atriums and the caldera i mean first off let's just admire these for a little bit here these things i mean let's get my, my ugly mug out of the way ugly fingers out of the way uh these things 
I mean, Zach just makes beautiful, beautiful headphones. But Atriums and the Caldera. The Atriums and the Caldera are surprisingly close as far as sound signature goes, especially for it being like a planar versus a um, dynamic driver. The biggest difference that I had, my takeaways you kind of heard previously, is that the atriums are a little bit more mid forward, a little bit more lush and rich in the mids, and the low end is a little bit more uh, engaging and warm and, and kind of punchy and kind of like boomy in a good way. Like not in that over, like not bloomy, but like boomy, you know, like that really good subwoofer sound without it being... But, but it isn't really a sub, like, they're not the, it's weird, like, they don't, it has that subwoofer sound without it being that overwhelming subwoofer, if that makes sense. Um, these are such a crazy good headphone, they just, kind of a unique sound to them, they're really lovely. And I also, with the atriums, is that the, the stage is, to me, a little bit wider, even though I feel like it's kind of a, a trick to some level like I don't think it's as wide as it presents if that makes sense um, anyways the caldera is the detail monster it's the the imaging monster it's the one that's that will just you know it takes and separates all the instruments and it gives you all these details and it just all the minute details uh, and it's fantastic the way that that sounds the and it's effortless like the the detail is effortless the imaging is effortless and it isn't sharp to the point where I don't like it. Like where most uh, planars, I don't like that sharpness of image separation or detail sometimes. These are lovely. And the crazy part between these two is that they're actually really close in sound signature. And they're not one-to-one, -one, of course. Like no, no headphone really properly would be. But um, they're close. And I think if you really want that planar sound and love detail and love image separation caldera is for you the atriums would be more of that mid-range uh, a little bit more lush a little bit more richness to them and that's probably more your thing especially if you like dynamic drivers um, and a little bit more of that like sub bass or low end i think that the uh the atriums would be more in line for people that like those things uh and to me they're also good enough companions that you could have both and be totally happy uh, so yeah like the, that's one thing about zach and zmf headphones is what he creates each headphone is so unique to itself even if it is similar they have enough uh separation between the different headphones and enough uniqueness between them that you honestly could have one of each and be completely depending on your mood and what genre you're listening to or what track you could easily move into a different headphone depending on what your mood is and it's pretty cool that that he does that he has he has that zmf flavor which i would account to being more natural has like a natural warmth to it a natural richness to it all of his headphones generally lean that way uh, really well done with that acoustic sound or mid-range sound and he, he has this nice flavor that he adds that is his unique flavor that really i'm i'm a big fan of it and they all have generally some form of that in some way shape or another and the the caldera and the hms are no different but they just present them in different ways which is really really cool and i'm a big fan so biggest differences i'd say between the atrium and the caldera is that the caldera is the detail and imaging monster and that the atriums would be your more lush rich mid-range and that low end sub woofer kind of sound that boomy in a good way kind of uh, low end and the stage is a little bit wider um, and they're pretty close on the everything else but i would say the uh, imaging and detail definitely goes to the caldera and but yeah both are quite lovely and fantastic headphones and i mean gorgeous pieces of art both of them uh, and all, all zmf headphones are so with that said i'll let you guys have the rest of your morning afternoon evening back and we'll catch you on the next one cheers <laughs> uh, okay, um... <clears throat>